everyone, it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing another review. Today I'll be reviewing Super Robot Chogokin Mazenkaiser. Now we all know the history of Mazenkaiser, so we'll not be going into that. If you'd like to learn more about Mazenkaiser's history, be sure to check out my review of the Max Factory Max Gokin Mazenkaiser. A link to that video will be in the description of this video. To see Mazenkaiser in action, be sure to check out the 2001 OVA Mazenkaiser as well as the 2002 film Mazenkaiser vs. the Great General of Darkness. Both the OVA and film are absolutely fantastic. Super Robot Chogokin Mazenkaiser is another fantastic release in the Super Robot Chogokin line. Mazenkaiser has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic panel applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's take a look at Mazenkaiser's accessories. Mazenkaiser comes with a pair of open hands, a pair of holding hands, one accessory stand piece, a pair of final Kaiser blades, and one Kaiser scrander. First, let's take a look at the open hands. The open hands have a fantastic sculpt, a fantastic pan ups going on, a very nice black glossy finish with a gold accent for the wrist, a very nicely detailed hand here, very nicely done. Our next pair of hands are the holding hands. We have the same great sculpt and pain apps, very nice. To attach the hands, we'll grab our figure. They attach via a ball joint peg system, we'll pop on our fist here, grab our new holding hand, push it on like so, and that's it, so very nice there. Our next accessory is the accessory stand piece. A very simple accessory that goes a long way for our figures here, pretty simple base, but once we attach this, we'll grab our figure, all we have to do, push this into the back, and once it's attached, we can put Mazenkaiser in truly seamless jumping and flying poses. Very nice there. Our next accessory is the pair of final Kaiser blades. We'll kind of zoom out some, these are very large. So for the first blade here, a very nice metallic silver finish for the blade itself. Very nice vibrant metallic gold for the handle. We'll kind of zoom in here. The Z is embossed on some very nice red translucent material going on. So definitely very cool here, a very nice sword. Then for the second sword, same great sculpt and paint ups, except this sword is absolutely massive, as you can see. Now this is meant for added perspective, so we're kind of like poking through the screen, which is definitely very cool. Now, how the swords are held, we'll grab Mazen Kaiser here with the holding hand attached. All we have to do, we'll kind of push back some, it's very large. Remove the handle here, push it up through the bottom of the holding hand, like so. Make sure it's in that slot for a tight grip. Reattach the top of the blade, and that's it. So now, we can slash through your screen, so that is a very cool effect there. Now, here's something I wanted to mention. Maybe I'm being a crybaby or maybe nitpicky, but for the final Kaiser blade, it actually comes out of Mazen Kaiser's chest, so to be consistent, we should have had a removable chest piece to pull out the Z portion, but still, you know, I'm more than happy to have this figure, so I will not complain. Our final accessory is the Kaiser Scrander and it is absolutely massive and absolutely fantastic here. So, a very nice vibrant red, very nice and sharp here. We have the nice gold and blue going on, and also it's very nice articulated, so very nicely done. Now, there's two things I wanna mention about this. So first, you actually have to put this all together by attaching the wings, they're gonna focus all this. And the hardest part about this is the larger wings. So, when you're putting this in, make sure to put this in while holding the joint and kind of twist and push this in because otherwise you don't want to break anything. Plus, it takes a lot of force and effort just to get this in, in the first place. So please be extra careful. And also, when you're twisting and slightly pushing this in, be careful because when I was doing this, I'll zoom in some, I noticed that the top portion of the joint starts separating. So please be as careful as possible. So again, when you're attaching these wings, all you have to do, hold the joint, push and twist firmly but slowly, and then it should click into place. Now the second thing I want to mention, you notice this is very sharp and spiny, so please make sure that Mazen Kaiser does not fall backwards on this, otherwise these spines will break off and dull and then it won't look as dynamic, so please be mindful of that. Now the Kaiser Scrander attaches via the Universal Crossover Joint Systems, we'll grab Mazen Kaiser here, all we have to do, push it into the back here and it clicks into place and that's it. So this is extremely large and hard to keep in the frame, so now let's step back and put Mazenkaiser in a very nice, seamless flying pose. Now we have Mazenkaiser in a seamless flying pose and looks absolutely fantastic. I really do enjoy the accessory stand pieces. They allow us to put Mazenkaiser in truly seamless jumping and flying poses without having to use his unsightly Tomashi clips. Now, do be warned, Mazenkaiser is a very heavy figure, so this time around I'm actually using a Trident stage. Trident stages are heavier and more sturdy than our Act 5 stages. 
Now that we have the accessories out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the Mazen Kaiser figure itself. Mazen Kaiser has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic panel applications, and a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's start with the head. We can look left, we can look right, we can look down, we can look up. We can also rotate the horns forward here to perform the Reitoa beam, which is definitely very cool. We'll flip up this breastplate. Shoulders rotate to full 360. Also, we can pull the shoulder joint out, and now Mazen Kaiser can reach across his chest. The arms come out about 90 degrees. We have very nice double jointed elbows. Also, they have a swivel. The fists are on ball joint pegs. We can tilt and spin these freely. In the upper chest here, we can flip these breastplates up and down. That way, they're out of the way. We're moving our arms around, which is definitely very cool. So, nice movement there. In the upper chest itself, we can lean forwards, backwards, twist side to side, lean side to side. But also, if we pull up on the upper chest here, we can increase that bend, which is very nice. For the torso here, we can lean forwards, backwards, twist side to side, and lean side to side. For the legs, we can kick forwards about this much initially, backwards about this much, out to the side this much. We can pull on that hip joint, increase the range of motion, pull this down, an even higher kick going on here to the front, to the back, and to the side. There's a slight upper thigh swivel going on. Very nice, double jointed knees, but not much of a ratchet going on there. The feet can tilt and swivel also, we can pull out the foot joint here and increase that range of motion, so very nice there. Great increase. And then finally, the toes are articulated as well. So we have a very nice, hyper-articulated Mazen Kaiser figure. Click this all into place. Get the foot back in there. Let's see if we can straighten them up really quick. This figure is simply stunning when it comes to the sculpt and paint apps, so we'll kind of get them all set up here and focus. So for the head sculpt here, it is absolutely fantastic. We have a very nice... Vibrant red, metallic silver, gold, and blue. So definitely very cool there. For the upper chest, a very nice vibrant red for the breastplates. A very nice black glossy finish for the rest of the chest. Gold tips. For the Z here, a nice gold. Also, the Z is impressed on some very cool translucent red materials. So it's definitely very cool. For the rest of the body, we have this very nice gold and silver going on here with the black glossy finish. This figure is simply stunning. Very nicely done here. In terms of die cast content, it's mostly in the upper chest and the legs. So Mazen Kaiser is a very heavy figure, which is definitely very cool there. Hear that weight drop there, so very nice. And then finally, um, I might be a little bit nitpicky, but I kind of feel like Mazen Kaiser is a little bit on the slim side, but I assume they did that for the sake of articulation. But you know, I'm not complaining. I absolutely love this figure. Mazen Kaiser is my favorite super robot. So it's definitely very cool here. Now that we have the Mazen Kaiser figure out of the way, let's go ahead and get a little bit creative. For the sake of creativity, we've utilized the Universal Crossover Joint System. The Universal Crossover Joint System is a very unique feature in the SRC line that allows us to mix and match parts and accessories from other SRC figures and put unique spins on our favorite super robots. So, this time around, we have Shin Mazen Kaiser with a hint of effort and guts. Mazen Kaiser is strong enough already, but he still looks definitely very cool with some added enhancements. Now that we're done being creative, let's go ahead and do a very quick size comparison. For size comparison, we have SRC Mazen Kaiser Skull, Shin Mazinger Z, Mazinger Z, Great Mazinger, Mazen Kaiser, and then finally, the Max Factory Max Goken Mazen Kaiser. As you can tell, SRC Mazen Kaiser is a very tall figure amongst all other SRC figures and also comes pretty close to the Max Factory Max Goken Mazen Kaiser, and it's definitely very cool. Now that we have the size comparison out of the way, let's go ahead and conclude this review. To conclude the review, Super Robot Chikokin Mazen Kaiser is another fantastic release in the Super Robot Chikokin line. Mazen Kaiser has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic pay applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I absolutely recommend that everyone picks this figure up. Also, be sure to check out the 2001 OVA Mazen Kaiser, as well as the 2002 film Mazen Kaiser vs. The Great General of Darkness. Both the OVA and film are absolutely fantastic. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe.